There are many reviews of people that have overflown their bathtubs and flooded their bathrooms, flooded their houses, their apartments because of this thing. What's up? It's me. It's Kayla. Um, so this is not the video that I plan to make today. <laughs> I was planning to film a haul today, but what can I say? My HS is the one in control of my life. Like, look at all those cute clothes. I've been having a flare up for the past few days, but I feel like I had to update you all and let you know that I have now, I have a new Holy Grail. I'm just gonna put it at that. It's not a new Holy Grail product. I still love all the products. Everything I showed you in my last video, um, I still use all of those things. That Dead Sea Salt is amazing. The Boil Ease is still the highlight of my life. The only thing I think that I told you about in the last video that I don't like anymore are those band-aids. And unfortunately it's because I literally cannot, I can't, I can't have that kind of adhesive anymore. If I wear band-aids, they have to be like the very medical grade, like paper tape kind. Let me just cut to the chase and say that this has been the easiest flare up that I've had in a long time. And not because it's not a lot or in many spots. I'm flaring up under both armpits, under this boob, and I am flared up in my crotch. So I'm very inflamed. I'm very flared up right now. The one thing that is different about this flare up is that I have been in the bathtub. The first time that I got in the bathtub is because me and my fiance, we were bickering, we were bitching about some dumb shit. And because we're in like an urban studio, there's no doors. So to get away from each other, one of us always gets in the bathtub. And we were mad for a while. So I was in the tub for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I was soaking, I had my arm up soaking in the tub. And then I got out, dried up, put some boilies on it, took some naproxen and um, Tylenol. And it was great and I slept perfectly. And I woke up and it just felt less inflamed and not as painful. But then throughout the day, it started to get more irritated and irritated. So I got in the bath again. Also using the Epsom salts that I had at the time, but I did order some more of that dead sea soak, which is perfect. But yeah, I did the same thing. I soaked in there, probably not as long with the Epsom salt, with my arm up, got out, dried off, put on the boil ease, took some meds again. So I was like, wait a second. So at that moment, I'm thinking, oh my God, is the bath working? Now, a lot of people say that they take baths and they soak a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people in the HS community they talk about soaking, but I think it's because I've never really had a big bathtub or I haven't been able to fit in a bathtub. Well, luckily the tub I have right now is fairly deep. I'm big, but I still fit in the tub and I could put my arms up. I looked up a few things and of course I saw exactly what I thought I was gonna see. A bunch of people saying that they have to soak, they soak once a day, they soak twice a day. And I realized this is something that I don't really do. I don't even take baths as much as I used to because I really love water, but it's been a while. After those two days soaking, I knew that I needed to make this my new routine. So I bought two things off of Amazon that have changed the game, okay? Now this isn't gonna work for everyone if you don't fit in your bath or your bath is really shallow. Like there's only so much you can soak in a tub if you don't fit. I got two things. This came in a pack of two, I think it was $5. This was like $9. This is a stopper, so an extra stopper for the tub. This is a flow like limiter or something like that. Basically you put this, you put this and it's adjustable. You put this over that little like round thing under the faucet and it makes it so that it doesn't seep water. There are many reviews of people that have overflown their bathtubs and flooded their bathrooms, flooded their houses, their apartments because of this thing. So I was like, oh, I need this. If I'm gonna be soaking, if this is gonna be part of my routine, my flare-up routine, I need to make this as spa-like as possible pretty much and you know, enough that I can fit. Put the footage, I put the footage, I put the footage at the beginning of this video so you can see how how high the water went. It could have gone even further. There wasn't even a peep. There wasn't even a peep of water 
going down the drain. It was amazing. The bath even stayed super hot, almost too hot for me. I got these yesterday, so I tried them out last night and I can't believe it. So the links of these will be in the description. Definitely check it out. If you don't soak, definitely give it a shot. I don't know, maybe it's silly that I have never truly had a soak. And maybe it's just because when I'm having a flare up, like I'm exhausted, I'm tired. A lot of times I can't move. So sometimes I don't want to like lower myself into a tub and have to get up and have to dry myself. And you know, it's, it's just a lot. But now that I'm three, three or four days into this flare up and I'm still just coasting. I don't know. I'm going to do this every time. It definitely keeps the pain and inflammation at bay. And I don't know, normally, I don't know. Normally my flares would get really gnarly by now, but they're still just kind of chill. They're still in that inflamed lump stage. And like throughout the day, it starts to hurt more and more and it starts to give me more pain. Then I just soak again and then it's gone. It's gone. That's all. I do have one more thing for this update. Um, <laughs> I think I'm a genius. So first of all, check out my new shirt. It's a 5X. Mm, mm, mm. You know how you've got like those shorts or pants that are from one purpose. Like these are my house cleaning clothes or these are my gym clothes. These are my yard work clothes. So I had an epiphany, you know, we have period panties. I realized I need flare up shirts. So I ordered these of course in black so you don't see anything. The only thing worse than ruining a shirt is if that shirt is white or light colored. So it's part of my routine. It's part of my new plan to put one of these on after my bath, after I've put everything on. I feel like I don't really have to explain the concept of flare up shirts because I'm sure as soon as I said it, you were like, oh, that is if you don't already do this. But if you didn't, I'm sure you were like, oh yeah, flare up shirts. It's perfect. They're comfortable. It's really hard for me to find something to wear when I'm having a flare up because it's like, I don't want to ruin everything. There's just not that many articles of clothing that I have that feel comfortable enough for me to put on when I have HS flare ups or that are just convenient enough. The fact that I have room and space that I can heal, that I can slather Vicks or boilies on my armpits and it's fine. Like having HS is one of the worst things that's ever happened to me in my life. But this, I'm telling you, this makes me, this is, it's really the simple things that make living so much easier. So yeah, it's perfect. I just throw it in the wash and these are my flare up shirts. So I don't have that moment of panic of like, what do I even put on? My whole body hurts right now. My flare up shirts. This is the most energy I felt in any of my flare ups. If you've watched my HS videos when I'm having a flare up, you, like a lot of times I am pretty dead because of this new soaking thing and I've got my Epsom salts. I re-upped on my boil ease and you know, this shirt, this big ass shirt making my day, it's just, this is not one of the bad ones and I'm really happy about it. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell you all that I'm having a flare up. And it's the day of my bachelorette party. So that's probably gonna be canceled. But yeah, this video is all over the place. I'm sorry, but if you have not tried soaking, definitely try it out. I'll leave the link to all the things in the description on Amazon, these bath things, the sea salt, the boilies, all everything that I bought, everything that I love. I'll leave it in the I'll leave it in the description below. And um yeah, let me know in the comments how y'all are doing. How's your HS treating you? Have you done anything new that's helping? Have you found something that definitely doesn't help and is making you flare up? Like, you know, leave it in the comments below. It's not like we have doctors or anyone to talk to about this. So yeah, so that's all for this video. Shout out to the combination of ibuprofen and Tylenol. You're great. Bye. <laughs>